Hi guys, this is Angela, and welcome to my channel. Today, I want to take you guys through my creative process in painting a location and show you guys how I decide on a spot and collect reference, and finally, how I draw it at home. 2020 has been a tough year for everyone. I cancelled all my trips abroad, and without exotic landscapes and foreign architecture, I had to start seeking inspiration from around me. I really like the neighborhood called South Granville in Vancouver. The landmark building, Stanley Theatre, is just perfect for painting. Every time that I walk past it and in different times of the day, my attention always lingers on it for a few seconds. I've drawn once before during sunset, and it's actually one of my favorite drawings I've done with acrylic markers. So I decided to head out again. The first time I went, it was around 6.50 and I was a bit late. It was already too dark to see the blue in the sky and buildings has lost most of their colors to dark brown and black. So I decided to wait and try again the next day. The next day, I came out around 6.30 and it was perfect timing. I walked along both sides of the street to see all the possible options for my composition. Having a very clear composition in mind helps me to take better reference photos. So after deciding on an angle that I liked, I snapped a few photos to capture the detail on the buildings and the sky. I then consolidate everything into one simplified composition on paper with really light and loose lines. I like to lay out all of my markers in two rows according to their brands. This way I get to see all of my colors clearly and it allows me to find the ones I want faster. So I'm going to start coloring. Aside from testing colors here and there, colors that I'm not sure of, I always try to start drawing the most important part of the composition first. In this case, I will be drawing the Stanley Theatre first. There are a lot of detail when it comes to old school theatres like this. I'll be taking my time to really refine the neon lights and the surface lit by these lights. Using acrylic markers, I always try to make sure I create the gradient of the surface, for example, the wall before I adding any detail onto the surface, for example, windows.
Once I'm done drawing the Stanley Theater, which is the part of composition that I care about the most, I move on to the rest of the painting. And they come to me quite easily because I have a bit more freedom and to play around with shapes and color. The one thing I think about when I pick colors is how does it look against the color next to it? I never fully follow the colors in my reference photo or the colors from real life. I try to make each individual choice based on the composition and arrangement of colors before me. If something is taking attention away from the main focus, then I will alter the lightness or the color so that it doesn't distract the viewers. I also won't be drawing all the details on the faraway buildings. I want them to fade into the road. Because you want these background buildings to actually recede into the background, I would recommend always reducing detail in the background buildings. Adding highlights and streetlights always help with adding interest in a painting, especially a nighttime one. So I like adding in my circle of yellow light as a halo and then adding in white in the center. So I'm just finishing up the drawing with some wires in the sky. It's really really hard to get straight lines with these markers, so I had to try it quite a few times and I had to be very careful. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the result of this drawing. The fact that I'm recording it and using it as a demo definitely uh, made me draw in a certain way. But hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. And if you liked it, feel free to check out my other drawing videos on my channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.